Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so my previous video, I did bell as big as I could without any seams at all, no slicing in any of the colored pieces, and we were able to do that at 41 inches, okay? So, um, but I went to save the project, and when I did that, I lost my project completely. So I didn't get to show you the black background. So if you're here to tune in for that, you can tune in to any characters um, that I do for off the mat. There is a black image, unless like I said before, there's a computer issue. So now this one though is gonna be the 48 inch one. So if you can see in the background right now um, behind me is Cinderella, Snow White, and Mulan at 48 inches. So that's four feet. I'm only 5'2", so it is sizable next to me. My daughter, who's five and a half, is 47 inches, so it is taller than her, which is so awesome. I call it her kindergarten squad. Um, so this one, I'm gonna show you how to do at 48 inches, okay? So first thing, let's go here and do 48 inches and hit enter. And then we're gonna zoom out. So here she is at 48 inches. We still need to scroll up and down. That's how big this image is, so cool. Um, now the the biggest longest or widest piece that we have on here is her leg so i just want to make sure let's ungroup it and see how big her leg is so her leg okay so this is pretty cool i want to show you this trick okay her leg is five inches by 13.2 so if you're looking at this for the first time um, you would think that you need to slice it because unless you had a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock of skin color, which I do not have, um, you would have to slice this, right? But the way Design Space does its calculation is it goes from its highest peak to the lowest point. So that would be this piece to this piece that is 13 inches. But that's not really, so, and then from the, for the width, it goes from the most left to the most right piece. So that means that there's room for manipulation. So if I start to turn this leg, I just changed it. Now it's 9.3 by 11.3. Now it can cut on the mat. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> I didn't know that for the longest time. That was so frustrating. Okay, so this leg is no problem. Um, so I think at 48 inches, we're good because let's see how big her face is. Where's her face? Here's her face. Her face is 11 inches by 9.3. All right, so nothing, the most important thing that I will, I refuse to do is using a light color cardstock like for the skin and have a seam down it because it is so distracting. There's no hiding it. And that's all you're gonna, your eyes are gonna be drawn to it. So I refuse to do anything that big. So we know we can do this, so let's do it. Uh, so here's the pink, we'll deal with that in a second, the green, yellow, okay. So let's deal with first, let's see, the arm, everything that's okay, we're gonna move all the way over here. That way we know what we have to deal with, okay? Now the fingers are separated. These are three separated pieces. Let's see how big it is. This one, it's almost an inch by an inch, so it's pretty big. It's not as small as we think it is because this is 48 inches. So I'm gonna leave it as three separated pieces. If they were smaller, I would be tempted to weld them together. Okay, now I know from past experience what, um, sorry, I don't know where to start with this. I always, for the face, I always make a duplicate copy. So here's my duplicate. Then I go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. And then change it to black. And the reason is because if there were any seams coming down the eyes or the mouth, yes, the lips go over it and the eyes go over it, but there is still space in that, in this enclosed area. So if there were seams coming down, you would still see a little bit of the seams and we don't need to. So why have seams when you don't need to, right? So this is why I do this. So you're gonna have your black background that's gonna be cut up into pieces, right? You're gonna put this on top of that 
and then this goes on top of the face. So let me arrange, send to the front, so that if there were any seams running through the eyes or the mouth, it would now be seamless. Now the reason why this eye is open and we can't make it black is because, let me zoom in so you can see it. The face right here, there is an opening, so it's not enclosed, and so I couldn't contour this out. But this is an easy fix. Bring in a circle, and you want to just kind of make it so that it contours to the face well. So I'm just going to do something like that, okay? So now I'm going to weld it. Don't worry that there's this open space. So you're going to weld it, and then to get rid of that, you just click on the face, contour, hide all. Ta-da! Now you have a fully enclosed face. This goes on top. So if there were any seams running down the eyebrows, the eyes, the mouth, seam no more. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Let's zoom out for a second. Let's go back and fix everything else we need to fix. So this is all done. I'm gonna move this over here. We have our white, so that's separated. Okay, so now we need to separate all these colors because for instance, the hair, the hair and the eyes are two different colors. And you can tell because when you look over here, it's separated and ungroup is an option. So you need to ungroup it. So here's our hair and our eyes. Let's bring in a square and make it a little bit big because we're gonna use this to slice everything apart, okay? So like these, the eyes supposedly is six inches by 2.7, no. We're just gonna put it here, cover it, cover the one eye in the square, slice it. So now, when you go cut this brown, you can cut it much closer, right? You can put them really close to each other and instead you only need a two by three piece of cardstock. That's why I like to do it. Now this brown is different than the brown of the hair. If you wanted to make it the same color, which would, I would be inclined to do, I would go to color sync, and you see, I can just move the eyes down to here. That's a quick way to make everything the right, the same color. If you did want it a different brown, I would go back to the layers. <clears throat> I would grab the eyes, which they're selected right now, and I would change it to you know, a different brown if you wanted to right now, okay? That's how you would do that. Okay, now this hair is technically, it's four pieces. It's this big piece here, this big piece here, a small triangle, and then the bottom. I'm, to me, I'm gonna keep it as three pieces. I'm gonna say this is connected to this. And in fact, I might even weld this piece together. I'm gonna show you what I would do, okay? So let's, go down and let's slice out this bottom part first. So now we're separating all the pieces. I'm gonna go up like this. So this way, the reason why I do my cursor like this is so that I know I'm gonna grab the brown and the square and nothing else. Okay, then I can slice it. Get rid of your slice results. You don't need that gray piece, but now see this piece is loose. So later when you actually go cut this, you can stick the hair in like right here and save space, okay? Okay. Now this, um, it's, I'm gonna call it two pieces, okay? And I'm gonna contour because, because of the way this is, I can't slice this out. So I want it in two pieces, I'm gonna duplicate it. So I need two copies. I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna click hide all and it's gonna leave me this big wedge and I'm gonna add the triangle to it, okay? So I selected the triangle and see, look, now I have my piece. It's 10.6 by 11.7. So it's a little bit long, but I just need to turn it over a little bit, a little bit more. Now it's 11.3 by 11.3. Great, it can cut on the Cricut. <laughs> um, now this little piece here, what I would do is I would take in, let's do a triangle. Let's turn it around to match the shape of this, okay? And then make it smaller. And let me zoom in so you can see, because my eyes are straining right now. Okay, so let's go over here and look at this. So you see my triangle there. I feel like that's a pretty good fit. 
I'm gonna grab these two items and weld it. So instead of it being two separated pieces, now it's one piece of hair. I love it. I would definitely do this every day, all day. <laughs> okay, so we've got that down. Let's see, where are we with all our stuff? Mm, okay, so that's one piece of hair. Now we need to separate out this. So click on this and click contour. And we wanna get rid of this and this triangle. You can either use the panel or the picture to select things, okay? And there you have it. Now it's all by itself. It's 12.5 by 9.3. So we need to turn it over a little bit. 12.2, 11.5, 8. We need it a little bit smaller. There. Here is 11.3 by 10.8, all one piece. So right now, we are seamless. All our color pieces are seamless. So at 48 inches, I mean, that's pretty cool. At four feet so far, everything is seamless. The only seams that we're gonna have, uh, it looks like the only seams that we'll have will be in the black background. And it'll be minimal, right? Because all the colors sit on top of it. So you're gonna have like a little, little tiny seam like at the arm, like this much. So in the end, it's gonna be like one inch added together of seams it it is not noticeable at all all you your eyes are just going to see the glitter card stock that's so cute and then the overall image which is super cute you know little princess all right so let's look at this green so the green there's nothing that we can do these are just little green leaves on the dress so we want to slice it out so i'm just going to do this and start slicing it okay Grab these two items. Oh, why can't I slice it? Did I grab too many items? I did. I think I'm grabbing the dress for some reason. Okay. Oh, because the dress is in the same uh, alignment as the dress. So let me move this over. Oh, and the shoes. That's what it was, the shoes. Okay. So now I can slice it. So before it was grayed out, and you would not be able to tell that because my face is in the way. So I'm gonna move myself over there. And it looks like I have rolls, but it's just the way I'm sitting. <laughs> Don't look over there. Um, okay, so here is the slice results. Just move it out of the way. We'll slice up this one next. Mm, I'm gonna slice out these four and keep it together, okay? Grab that, slice. Make sure you get rid of the gray pieces. We don't, those are the slice results and we don't need it. And then we have these three floating around. So let's do that. And you see how that was, that had the shoes, the dress up here, all this stuff. As long as my mouse is only picking up two items, you can slice that way. So here's only two pieces left. I'm gonna grab it this way and slice. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so green is done. Are the shoes, okay, so the shoes need to be sliced out. I'm gonna use the same square. I'm just gonna put the shoes down. As long as I don't see the yellow out in any of these empty spaces, I can slice it. So I'm gonna grab it this way, slice. Here are my shoes. You can separate the shoes or you can keep them together. I feel like they're pretty close together. I would just leave it like that. Okay, let's see what we have with our dress. Um, let's get this crown out of the way. Okay, let's get this little single piece by itself out of the way. I'm just gonna get rid of this square. All right, now what do we have left? We have a 17 by 19 inch. All right, so I would separate this from waist up and bottom waist down, okay? So I'm gonna say it's two pieces. So let's duplicate it because I want it in two pieces. I need two images. Let's go to contour. And I don't want this piece. Oh, that's a lot of pieces. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna hide all. 
So it left me the big piece. I want this one, this one, this, this. I'm doing the top first. Oops. Oh my. And I don't want this. Oops. Okay, let's see what that. So this is our top piece. Now, first of all, let me zoom in so you can see. The top piece, this piece and this piece are two little pieces hanging out, as well as this. I am tempted to weld, actually I would weld everything together and make this two pieces and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So let's bring in a circle. And I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna do it here. Make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna duplicate that and put it right here. Okay, you ready? So this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. I'm gonna turn it into two pieces. And I honestly, I don't think it's going to impact the way the dress looks, okay? Looks pretty good. So compare it to this piece right here. I mean, the fact that this is one, I don't think it matters over here. I really, on on the actual off the mat character, you're not gonna notice. But what you will notice is how much easier it is for you to deal with two pieces instead of however many I just counted, okay? So if you wanted to separate this, you would duplicate it. Let's go to contour. We want a left side and a right side. So here's our right side. Click on this one, get rid of the right side, and there's our left side. So now that's what you have there. Let's deal with this bottom piece, okay? So let's contour. Um, all right, let's click out all these pieces. All right, so what I have left is the bottom. So I am tempted for the bottom to weld these three pieces together. So that's one section. Weld these three pieces together. That's another section. And then these four pieces together as another section. So let's bring in our handy dandy circle. <laughs> Make it small. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it right here. Duplicate it. I'm going to put this one right here. And then I need another one. I need this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to grab this whole thing and weld it. Okay, I mean, really, I don't think that you can tell. Um, all right, so now we have one, two, three, four, four pieces. So we need four copies. This is our second, third, fourth. Okay, let's contour one at a time, okay? So contour, hide all. So you have the top piece. So this top piece is 13 by 6.6. .6. So let's tilt it. 13.3, 12.2. All right, 9.8 by 11.3. It is seamless. I love this girl. I, this is my first one that I've done. Snow White had seams. Milan had a seam, as well as Cinderella. This is the first time that there's no seams on this doll. I mean, she's gonna look amazing. The other dolls, like I said, had deep seams, but they still looked really, really seamless. <clears throat> All right, so this one, contour. Let's hide this and this piece and this piece. So we're left with this. Here's our, oops, here's this little panel. Um, Why is it? picking up like it's such a big piece. Hold on, let's go to contour. What is still out there? There's that piece. Oh, this, just click on that. 
I don't, there was a little dot hanging out over here. We don't need it, there it is. Okay, let's do this one, contour. Let's hide all. So left me the top, let's do the middle and remove that. There's the middle of our skirt and then we need our left side. So let's go to contour, hide all. We want this one and we don't want this one. Oh my gosh, it's this. she's gonna look so, so good. All right, so all we have left to slice out and stuff is the white and the pink. So let's bring in our square. Let's do the white really quickly. And the eyes I usually keep together. So here's the mouth, her teeth. Oops, let's get rid of that. Okay, so there's the her teeth. And then this is her right eye. I'm gonna put that in there, slice. And the reason why I keep it separated is so that when I pull it off the mat, I know these three pieces will be my, her right eye, and then the, these three will be her left. Because they're shaped kind of similar, it's hard for me to tell where it goes. So I just, you know, and it's it's not wasting a lot, a lot of space, so I, I cut it together like that. Okay, let's do this pink. So let's um, slice out the pink. So this is the top that went in her hair. Let's slice out that. Let's slice out her lips. Oh, I didn't notice that the rose, so undo. When you're slicing and you use a square or any other shape, you need to make sure that only the one item that's gonna be sliced out is in that square. So part of this was in there, I didn't notice that. So there. Now I'm gonna grab these two and slice. So my only item in the square was the lips. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now, I did this on the other one, on the 41 inch one. I felt like I didn't want to deal with four pieces. So it's up to you. You can keep it as is and just weld out or slice out the roses. But for me, with all the number of pieces that we already have, I don't want my roses to be in pieces. So I'm doing this. I'm making sure that this circle, the middle circle touches everything. I'm gonna duplicate this one. And I'm gonna bring it over here and make it touch everything there. And I'm gonna duplicate my circle. This rose is already all one piece. This one, I'm gonna make sure it's just one piece as well. Okay, now I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm going to weld it. So now my roses are one piece each. Um, in my last video where I did the 41 inches, I put it back in the dress. It looked like roses. It had the green leaves to go with it. And it's just a small detail in her beautiful yellow glitter dress. So you're not gonna notice it, but it's up to you. If you wanna manage those little pieces, you can. They, you know, I'm not gonna hold you back from doing it. <laughs> All right, let's slice this out, okay? So here's one rose. Let's go and let's see what we have here. Let's, here's our next rose. Now, if you notice, this gray piece is still there, but my cursor only grabbed the pink rose up here and the square. So technically I only grabbed two pieces and I can slice. And look, I had this piece in there and it didn't matter, okay? So just showing you what you can or can't can't do and see we don't need this piece all right so there's our second rose we only have two more get this guy in here he's completely covered in the square grab these two things and slice all right we're done okay so let's get rid of this get rid of this I think the only thing we have left is the black background 
Yes. So I'm going to move all this stuff over. Okay. I'm, oh, I want to save it, but last time I did that, it ruined, it deleted my project. So I guess I won't save. Okay. So she is 48 inches, which means I'm going to do 11 by 11 because I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock. Technically the Cricut will allow you to cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. So we are going to need, um, darn it, it's 22.4 inches, which means 11 plus 11 is only 22. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'll figure it out in a second. I'm still gonna do 11 by 11. So let's bring in our square. We'll fix it in the end, okay? So let's build our, our 11 by 11 squares all flushed covering this girl, okay? So first thing is in size, let's change it to 11. So here's our square, just put it somewhere up here, it doesn't matter. We're gonna to go to our position feature and we're going to round to whole numbers, to the nearest whole number. So 12.278 becomes 12, 1.33 becomes one. And what we're basically telling design space is your X coordinate is the one running across, your Y coordinate is the one running up and down. So we're saying X is 12, so go over 12 units, go down one unit, and here's the start of our rectangle or square. Duplicate. Put it really close, then round to the nearest whole number. So 23.11 becomes 23, 1.1 becomes one. Okay, now we have two squares that are flushed with each other. So hit the shift key, this one's already selected. Select the second square and then duplicate. So now the whole set is duplicated. Put it really close to the top one. And now this is already at 12, 12.2 becomes 12. Now we have four squares all flushed. So hit the shift key, grab this square and this square and duplicate. And now we're duplicating four squares at one time. It's all wonderful. Put it here. And again, 12.056 becomes 12, 23.167 becomes 23. So it's getting easy, right? Okay, so now, um, I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to move it just down here. Now this one, 18.44 becomes 18, 45.2 becomes 45. So I'm hoping to not slice the feet. The feet will go together and then I'm missing one right here, but let's just bring her to the front. Okay. Arrange, send to the front. So we're not gonna be able to get her in because her widest is here. So what we can do though, is we can bring in one more, let's bring her back to the background, arrange, send to the back, right here, duplicate that square, bring it really close, and then this 34.2 becomes 34, 23.056 becomes 23, okay. And let's arrange, oh, let's go get her. So scroll down on your right-hand side panel all the way to the bottom. Grab her, arrange, send to the front. Okay, so now she's here. Now let's see what we can do. Now at the same time, I wanna make this piece as big as possible. So that looks pretty good. Let me zoom in so we can see where our seams are gonna be, okay? So this looks like there's a seam probably running through her eyes, so it's a good thing we have that deep, you know, that black contoured piece. So this is a sizable piece. This square is gonna be good. This is all, I think it's pretty good. These are big pieces that we can manage. Um, I'm gonna put her down a little bit because this is gonna separate the legs. So now the legs are, this whole thing is one piece because it's gonna cut through right here. So that looks good. What you don't want, and I'll show you right now, for instance, this little tip, you don't want it like that because this tip is gonna be hanging out by itself. You need to keep track of it. Then you need to try to tape down a small piece like that. You don't want it. When we're slicing, 
the black image. You want big pieces that are easy to keep track of, okay? So that looks pretty good. I mean, she's just big. You're gonna have many pieces. So let's pull her down a little bit and see what we have there. Okay, so we don't want that. Move it back up. We can make this hand bigger. Okay. Now the legs, we, all we need to do is grab this, hit your arrow key and just move it over to make sure it stays flushed, but it's moved over to get it. I would do it like that. So let's zoom out and slice up little bell and then we're gonna be done okay so i'm gonna go to 25 all right ready we're gonna slice one square at a time so here's our first one slice grab this slice so we're just making our way around and you know like i said before when you're slicing your cursor doesn't need to grab the entire square a little bit of the square, a little bit of the image, and you're good to slice. Because what happens is like, let's say you grab a big piece, right? And you go over a little bit. So right now I have the black outline and I have two squares, the two, top two squares. Slicing is gonna be grayed out. So, you know, you just wanna make sure, grab enough, slice. Slicing only works with two items. So if you only have one, you have nothing else to slice it with. You have more than one, oops, let me undo that. You have more than one, it won't know how to slice it. Let's slice out this hand. And then let's slice here, here. And I think we have everything. Now when I'm slicing big pieces like this, I do like to move everything over in order so I know where things go. So these are pretty big pieces. I, I like what we have here. Oh, I didn't slice that. Undo. That was too big. So I'm gonna grab these two pieces and slice. So here's that piece. Here's the hand. I mean, that's still a two by two inch, so it's you're not gonna lose that piece. And it'll be easy to tape down. So here's that that and her okay all of this just grab it all and delete it now this piece right here is two pieces you could separate it if you want to because it might save us we might be able to save one full cut one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock so i would do this and slice it So now it's two separate pieces. Okay, so let's go to the make it screen. I'll save it at the end. <laughs> okay, why is that too big? Which piece do I have? Oh, the legs, because we need to tilt the legs, okay? So no problem, just click okay. All right, so let's, let's make this as efficient as possible. So here are my white pieces. I would do something like this. So now I need a three by a little bit, a little bit past three, a little, so like three and a quarter and two and a quarter. This should cover all that. Here are my black pieces. So we have space here so we can move things we will, okay? So here's this piece is pretty big. These are all big pieces. But this one, let's move it. So first of all, you can move it here but I wanna move it to a different screen. So the three dots, click on it, move object, and let's move it so that we can save one whole piece of cardstock, okay? I think that one would fit here. So, yep. Right, so, and then this little guy I think he can fit somewhere else, move object. Um, I think he'll fit here, let's see. Yes, 
So we, you know, that's one less cut you need to make. Okay, so those are our black pieces. And I'm tempted to say that, mm, no, that's fine. Okay, this, when you're dealing with this, I always cut, I always buy my green mats in bulk, 12 by 24. That is the best deal. So I use that to cut everything. I don't care where people say, oh, well, cardstock needs to be cut on blue and um, vinyl needs to be cut on green. No, everything can be cut on the green mat. When my green mat gets less sticky, then I use it for my light paper cardstock. You can just use that, it's the cheapest, I love it. So on this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a the 12 by 24 mat, you're gonna put a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock up here and a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock down here. Let's do these legs so that they'll fit onto our mat. Okay, so first of all, this one needs to be like this. Let's move this out of the way for now. Okay, so this is 11 by 11. We may need to move it to another mat altogether. I don't think that I can get this one on. Yeah, this one will have to be on a mat by itself. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's see. Well, the hands we can move. So this hand, move object, let's move it to this one. Turn it around, make it a little bit more efficient. Let's see. Um, this one, move object, and we can move it to this. Okay, so that works. This leg, we're gonna move object and move it to our blank page over here. Oh, are you not gonna let me move? Okay, so let me turn it so that it, it fits. Okay, now I'm gonna move it, move object. It does not fit on the mat, why not? It does, hold on. Okay, so let's move our face. Okay, so our, it let me move the face for whatever reason. Here's our leg. We'll move this leg down here. So now it's in the second piece of 12 by 12. Um, so actually, I think our arms could fit on there. So let's move our arms, move object, move it to the bottom here. Oh, and this one fits up here, which means this arm can fit. So we saved a piece, move object, move it to the bottom, and we'll move it all the way to the bottom. Perfect. So our skin is three, three pieces, three pages. Um, all right, here's our brown. So our brown, we can move it so it fits. Okay, here we go. So our brown is gonna be two 12 by 24 pieces of cardstock. I mean, two 12 by 12. Um, let's see, does this fit down here? Let's move this. Okay. And then this guy, I mean, you can leave him on this mat. So this one's gonna cut one 12 by 12. And then this is our second 12 by 12. Here's our brown, and you can turn it around to make it more cozy, depending on your scrap paper. Okay, here's our yellow. Now our yellow, this, okay, first let's move this down and move this down. We know that this fit on a 12 by 12, so we, we gotta just twist it around. Okay, so now it fits on the mat, yep. It's under 11 inches, so that fits there. We can now move these pieces over and see if we can squeeze in these things. Yep, so that fits. Um, and then let's move this one, move object, and move it to our other yellow page. Okay, so here's this piece and this piece. 
let's see if we can move anything else. Let's look at our, wow, there's a lot of pages. Um, okay, so let's move this guy, move object, and let's see where could we fit that one. That one would fit here, I think. Okay, definitely fit. Let's see if our shoes, let's move our shoes to this first one. Okay, so this is gonna be tight but make sure that when you put your paper down this will cut fine you're going to need a 12 by 24 mat but this will cut fine then you have this one and you have this one which um i think we can move this to this one Oh, it's so close. I think that works. It's super tight. And then this one, you can make it more efficient so that when you're saving cardstock, next time you go to use this, you have this big piece that can cut many, many things. So there's our yellow. Oh, wait, let's move this one back to the other one. Move object. So it's a lot of yellow. So you're gonna need three 12 by 12 sheets of yellow. Maybe something like this. Okay, here's our green. Um, our green, you know, the four that I didn't separate, you could do this. Pretty efficient, right? Okay, so that's our green and then our our pink. And then we're done. Um, I'm tempted to end this recording and just go cut this. <laughs> but I'm not going to because I don't have time. So let me save this and fingers crossed that Belle, whoops, toddler, 48 inches, lets me save it. All right, so if you have comments, questions, special requests, please post it on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. If you can subscribe, I would love you to death. And then, um, yay, it saved. Oh, why? What? It just, I don't even know what that means. Oh my gosh, it's not. Okay, I'm so glad I did the whole thing. I need to look at what that error message is. <laughs> All right, see you guys the next time. Bye. Where's my stop? <laughs> I do mean it. Okay, where is it? I promise you, I'm going to stop the recording in a second. Don't pay attention. There we go. Bye. <laughs>